Hey, what's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I have some great news. There's a new version of Google Analytics. It came out on October 14th, 2020. Now, the good news is there's a new version. The bad news is that the current version of the Gatsby plugin Google Analytics does not work. But fear not, there is a way to integrate the new version of Google Analytics to Gatsby. So let's go into Google Analytics and set up a brand new account. I'm gonna drag this over here and bring in my Google Analytics. To set up a brand new Analytics account is that once you go and actually establish Analytics, I have to go down to Admin in the bottom left-hand corner, and here I'm gonna create a brand new account that I'm gonna install into my Gatsby default starter. In Analytics, I'm gonna say Create Account, and in here I will call it the Gatsby Default Starter. And it's your choice how much information you want to share with them. You can either give them all information or no information regarding all the data that they want to collect from you. Again, it's up to you if you want to choose all of them or none of them. I'm going to keep all of them for right now. And I'm going to say next. From here, the property name is still going to be the Gatsby Default Starter. And in this area, you're going to want to choose your time zone. And if you are in a foreign country, the currency if you want to bring in any ad dollars as well. I don't, but I'm still keep it my US dollars. From here, you can choose the size of your business. This is just the default starter. So this default your website is one to 10. And we'll just say, uh, why not? Optify is my advertising cost. Create, make sure you check all the boxes, read all the descriptions and accept the information. Sweet. Now what we can do is we can set up a data stream to start collecting data. I'm gonna choose web. This is new within analytics. You can also choose iOS if you have an app and an Android app as well. Pretty cool. From here, we're gonna say web. And what I'm gonna do is in this area, I'm gonna say HTTPS. I'm just gonna call this my domain. Oh, come back, dot com. Eventually I'll fill this thing in. You can choose either HTTP or preferably HTTPS, yourdomain.com. Stream name is Gatsby Starter, and we'll create the stream. And there we go. So what I'm looking for is if I scroll down this page, it says the Google, or sorry, the Google, <laughs> the global site tag, too many G words. So this global site tag is what we're gonna use, but more importantly, we're looking for the G tag. That's the plugin that is now working within Gatsby. So while this one worked in the legacy format, this new one works, where'd it go? With the G tag. Notice also that the legacy, if you've ever used analytics, was UA, now it is G for G tag. So with that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stop my server, well, I already did stop it. There we go. And over in the analytics, or man, now I'm getting all confused. Over in the Gatsby plugins, I'm gonna type G tag. And lo and behold, there is a Gatsby plugin, Google G tag. So I'm gonna come down here and copy. If you are a yarn person, then you're gonna type yarn add versus NPM install. Let's drop in this cool plugin and so far, so good. Installed without any problems. I do need to update my NPM, but I'll do that later on. So the next thing I have to do is I want to add the Gatsby plugin Google G tag to the config. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy from the top of the curly bracket to the bottom of the curly bracket to bring in to my analytic. Man, I keep saying analytics to my Gatsby config. Man, I have too many different words up here. I gotta get them under control. So if I bring open my files from a different screen, there we go. Inside Gatsby config, I'm gonna apply the same rules as I assume that they were working with the Gatsby Google Analytics situation where I recommend putting this on the very top of your plugins. So right where it says plugins, I'm gonna drop it in and save. So the Gatsby plugin React Helmet, which is the default, is the second in line. So in here, I'm looking for the GA tracking ID. From here, we're gonna copy the information. 
So this measurement ID copy, I'm gonna drop in right here. If you have Google Ads or AdWords set up, you can drop it in as well along with the marketing platform. I don't. So I will just get rid of this one and get rid of this one. I'm not using this opt container ID or I'm not anonymizing my IP address either. So for me, this all goes away. But what is important is I wanna make sure that the plugin config, the head is set to true. So my analytics end up in the head section of my Gatsby project. And I'm not worried about the parameters respect DNT. So I'm gonna take this one out. And I'm also not having to worry about any excluding any specific pages right here as well. So I wanna make this as simple as possible. We have Resolve, the Gatsby plugin, Google G tag. We've got the G for Google Analytics, and we've got the plugin config head true. Let's save this, and then if we, where did our screen go off to? There it is. If I do a Gatsby build, should go pretty fast since I'm using the Gatsby starter and there's not too many things going on. If we build this project out, we're gonna then run Gatsby serve, so it then is on the internet. And with that, we are just about done in 15 seconds, and Gatsby serve. Now it is crucial when you're testing this project out, make sure you actually click on the local host to run your site. If you don't, that analytics can't kick into gear. And the next thing I need to do is make sure it's working. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna head out of this screen and I can either head to the home section and check it out. I have one user right here. And if you wanna have some more fun to make sure it is you who is looking at this page, I can take a look at the real time page and you can see that I am located somewhere within Savannah, Georgia, and it's working right off the bat. So this is how you can use Google Analytics 4 within your Gatsby project using the G tag.